guys, it's Linnea, and today I'm going to be creating a simple and cute shaker card using the Penguin Palace Lucky Break stamp set. So this little uh, slot machine here, the coordinating die cuts out those windows and also that top bar where you can write uh, jackpot or you win, something like that. So I thought that this would be super cute to make a shaker card with. So I stamped out that little slot machine and before I colored it, I'm just going to temporarily adhere it onto a second piece of cardstock. That way I can stamp my little icons in those windows because each one of those windows is cut out individually. So I'm going to be creating a shaker card and I'm going to create one big well for each of those little squares. But because they're all individual windows, if you wanted to cut tiny little slivers of foam tape, you could make each one of these a different color shaker. Like if you wanted to do a rainbow, that would be such a fun idea. But I'm going to be doing it all together. But I did use that slot machine. I put that in my Misty, adhered it for a little bit, and then I could stamp all of my elements that are going to be on the inside of my shaker. That way I have perfect placement and perfect alignment. And I can just color them really easily with some alcohol markers. I'm just going to, like I said, color these up. I'm using my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers today, but you could use whatever you have. Like you could die cut this from watercolor cardstock and watercolor them. If you have colored pencils, Copics, anything. These just happen to be on my desk permanently now. So this is what I'm coloring with today. And I'm just coloring very simply using a dark and medium and sometimes a light, but most of the time it's just two colors because these images are small. Now, I also stamped a couple coordinating images. You saw me color those little fruits for the backdrop, and I colored those too. And then I also stamped the little person. It could be a little boy, or I colored it more neutral with a brown-gray colored shirt and then some coral shorts. So I think it kind of could be a girl or a boy, depending on how you color it. So now let's start building the shaker card. I have all of my images colored. And I'm just going to add some strong double-sided adhesive around these windows here. So I'm going to create two separate wells, one where those icons are showing, and then a separate one where the jackpot word is showing. I kind of wish that I had done it all together because the I put some glitter in where it says jackpot, and you can't really see it, but I was concerned that my elements would cover up the word jackpot and you wouldn't be able to tell what it says. So I added my double-sided adhesive all around, and then I'm just going to press a piece of acetate into that double-sided adhesive, and I'll use my scissors just to trim away any excess that's overhanging my die cut. Once that's done, I'm going to use slivers of foam tape, and actually I have these foam strips by Doris. These are certainly not a new item, but they are new to my craft room, and I absolutely love them. They tear easily, and in addition to that, they are perfectly sized for the majority of shaker cards that you're going to need. They're super skinny, so they fit in between all these little areas perfectly. Even that little um, slice there up at the top that's going to split my windows in half. So I got all of that foam tape added, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add my little shaker bits. I'm going to use some silver confetti. And this comes in a variety of sizes, but I am picking out the larger ones and just adding the smaller ones into my shaker. That way I don't have a lot of the elements covered up. And I do end up removing those three sequins from the jackpot area just because I thought they would be more translucent and they're more opaque than I wanted. Same thing with this glitter. I'm adding some glitter, just a little bit here and there, but I thought that it was too opaque. You couldn't really see through it, so I ended up going in with my fingers and just kind of removing it and just rubbing it away from the area. And in the end, I didn't add enough shaker bits, but I always end up adding too much, and then you can't tell what's inside of the shaker. So I prefer to have too little rather than too much. I added my shaker bits right on top of those little icons that I colored. I removed the backing to my foam adhesive, and then I can just press that slot machine right down on top of all those little shaker bits. I'll set something heavy on top of that to dry for a little bit. And then I can just use my scissors and trim away all that excess cardstock from the back of my die cut. 
this is a really easy way to create a shaker card. And I love that this die that comes with the die set for this stamp set already has those little windows cut out of the slot machine. Makes it super cute. I wanted a little color in my background, so I thought I would add some more yellow. That really played well with the turquoise and with the coral. And in addition, it kind of brought out those lemons that are inside of the slot machine. Really cute. So I'm going to add some yellow to my background. And I know some people hate it, but I love it. I'm going to add some flicks of water onto my Distress ink. And then I'll just grab a towel and pick up the excess water. And that's going to leave me with some awesome texture in my background. And I also flicked on some black watercolor spots as well. I'm going to add my little person here to the side. I added foam tape in the wrong spot, but that's no problem. I'm just gonna peel it up and smudge it over just a little bit. And then I can add my person right next to that slot machine. I'll finish this card off with some Spectrum Noir Clear Shimmer. And that is all. You can head over to my blog to see still photos of this project. I hope you love it. Thanks, bye.